All right. Sine x is equal to negative 1 over 2. So this time, we will be looking at a horizontal line that cuts through the graph at negative 1 over 2. The previous video, we were finding a solution for sine x is equal to 1 over 2. So, let us imagine a horizontal line, and I'm, I will do my best to sort of point out to this little line here, and the premise that this is perfectly horizontal line. I think I use this dash image to create it. So y is equal to negative 1 over 2. So we are looking at the following points here. I'm going to make them big black dots. OK. So on that interval, negative 2 pi to 2 pi, I have four roots. And I have to find them. So, the first root, when sine x is equal to negative 1 over 2. When you find solution on the calculator, you will get a point, or a, an angle, rather. If you have to understand what your calculator is saying when you find so negative zero point five. Okay. However, when you look at the graph, you'll see that there are four roots. So let us find the first one here. The one that is first to the right. Remember, the red dot from previous video represents the zero value. We moved pi over 6 radians to the left to get positive 1 half. So, in this case, I'm going to move from pi to this point right here by adding pi over 6. How do I know that? Sine x is equal to 1 over 2 when x is equal to pi over 6. So sine x is equal to 1 over 2 when x is equal to pi over 6. Remember we talked about the congruency of that entire wave that each quarter of that graph is congruent with one another. So moving the same distance from red dot to the right or from red to the left would mean simply that I'm moving adding pi over 6 or subtracting pi over 6 because first root was found 0 plus pi over 6 and this is where I intersected with 1 over 2. So 0 plus from pi, so the first root, root 1, number 1, will be found as pi plus pi over 6. So root 1, so 6 over 6 plus pi over 6, 7 over 6 pi. There you go. And I know that the next root to the right is pi over 6 units away from that last 0 from 2 pi. So root number 2 will be calculated as 2 pi minus pi over 6. And I have to figure out what is the result of that. So this is 12 over 6 minus 1, 11 over 6 pi.
So let's say, okay, this is pi, this is 11 over 6. Excellent. So, so far, two roots were established. Okay, check mark, check. How many more to go? Two more. Remember by the symmetry of the graph that the first negative one, root 3, will be negative 5, oops, not negative 5, it is simply negative pi, this is what I meant, negative, negative pi over 6. Excellent. And you may wonder, well, how do you know that? Look at the graph, look at this portion of the graph, pi over 6 generates sine x is equal 1 over 2, so negative pi over 6 will give you negative 1 over 2. Quickly, let us go back to the unit circle. So if this angle gives me ratio 1 over 2, so the same congruent triangle here in this quadrant, so that's the 1 over 2 is pi over 6, so that negative value must give me the same ratio. If I use congruent triangle, so if I have this angle is 30 degrees, that must be 30 degrees as well. So this is how you would know that root number 3 is negative pi over 6. Also, the root number 3 and root number 2 are 2 pi radians away. So this is what you have to also be aware of. That is the property of that periodical function. Root number 4. Root number 4. This one here. The furthest to the... Let root number 4 I can find by using root number 1 and subtract 2 pi, right? Root, root number 1, which is 7 over 6, take away 2 pi. So 7 over 6 minus 12 over 6. So root number 4. It's negative 5 or 6 pi. Excellent. So we have them all. That's very nice. How about the general solution? So the general solution will be, remember, root 1, 7 and 6. So general solution, ooh, not this marker, black one. So, general solution. So, x, we will say 7 over 6 pi plus, because of the repetition, period of this function is 2 pi radian. So, plus 2 k pi. And then the next root is 11 over 6 pi. So, I'm um, using root number 2. 11 over 6 pi plus 2 k pi. Now, just for your own sanity, select different values of k, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and see if you keep on getting those roots that you would anticipate to get. Similarly with positive values of k, 1, 2, 3, 4, and just know that every time you're finding a new root, you're adding to the previous root 2 pi radians. This is how that is being formed. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll do cosine and tangent x. Thank you.